Yo. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to my chair. This is my chair. It's very comfortable. And I've been sitting here for a week and a half. Yeah, if you saw the Instagram video, or if you didn't, I, I had a little incident. It may have involved some motorized vehicles, and my leg may have, uh, may have signed out for a little bit. Mr. Forsman put out a prophecy back in the comments of the last video that it was gonna be a few months until you saw me again. It, it, it came true. He's the oracle. My femur broke, and I'm gonna be relaxing for a little bit. <laughs> but I figured I'd clue you guys in. And before I go any farther, there are gonna be riding clips at the end of the video. I'll put the little timestamp here, and there'll be chapters, but if you don't care about my my talking and you just want to see stunts. The stunts are there. I guess I'm gonna go a little deeper into detail because Instagram is only a minute. We've got infinite time here, so I'll really break it down for you. Basically, back on February 12th, I was down in North Carolina and I went to go ride dirt bikes with my friend Ryan. He took the old RMZ out. It was a great day. He had his nice, beautiful Cowie 250. You know, we got a nice full day of riding in, probably rode until about three. And then I decided to take Ryan's bike out on the little, like, it's a really mellow supercross track that they have at this place called NCMP. It was bone dry that day. They had, it's like it had never seen a drop of water before in its, in its entire existence. But, you know, I didn't care. I was just floating around. I wanted to ride the 250 and just see how it went. I'm gonna overlay someone's GoPro footage so this makes a little more sense. But basically there's a triple that goes into a left-hander. Then there's a single that jumps out onto the start straight that also kind of hangs to the left. That one lap, I was like maybe eight or nine laps deep. Jump the triple, hit the left-hander pretty hard, jump pretty deep into the start straight, and then when I was leaning and landing, I gave it a little bit too much gas, and basically the rear wheel just kicked out a little bit and then gripped up again, and I got tossed and went flying. The bike went flying, and I think the bike landed on me at some point. There was a pretty definite moment where I felt my, uh, felt my bone snap. As weird as it sounds, it didn't really hurt at all. It just kind of felt like I dislocated like when I dislocated my shoulder, it just feels wrong. It just feels like you're floating there. But luckily I kind of ragdolled into the perfect position where I was I was laying with that leg up and it was kind of just resting on my other leg. I knew what happened right away. I called, I was waving my hand, trying to get someone to come over. Ryan came over, a guy came over with a side-by-side -side and blocked the sun and I was just chilling for like 15 minutes. Then the ambulance came, they, uh, I had to straighten me out to get me into the ambulance. That was probably the worst thing I've ever felt in my life, but you know, it had to be done. I took some deep breaths, and then they took me to a helicopter, and then the helicopter took me to the emergency room, and then pretty much that's where everything ends, kind of. I had surgery the next day. Oh, they did have, right when I got there, just just a warning, this might be slightly graphic, but I'll, I'll put the clip, actually it's not that graphic, but you know, if you're squeamish, you don't like surgical procedures, just be warned. Right when I got there, the day before they did the surgery, they had to like kind of keep tension on my leg. So they numbed me up and drilled some anchor, like anchors into my knee, kind of. I, I don't know which part of the, I think it was the top, something. They, either way, they, they numbed me up and drilled anchors into me and then hung a weight from my leg off the bed. It seems so like medieval. I know. Like old school, very unsophisticated, but. I don't know, I just thought that was crazy. I'd never seen anything like it. Mr. Justin Dell had come to uh, visit and he took a video, he took that clip for me. But anyways, yeah, they, they fixed me up. I have a nice rod and some screws in there and uh, now I'm here. It's been great. I have a professional videographer, also a professional caretaker, my grandma, behind the lens right now and it's been great. <laughs> yeah, that's a long story, pretty much. Uh, if you did see on the Instagram, I do have a GoFundMe going because the heli ride and my hospital vacation are not the cheapest thing. So if you're interested, you can give a few bucks, I'd really appreciate it. But if not, don't worry about it. My bills shouldn't be any of your business. I just, it is what it is. And like I said earlier, the day before I went to ride dirt bikes, I also started recording a video that I didn't end up finishing. So I kind of pieced that together and I'm about to put that in. Before I go, I feel like a broken record, but I really can't thank everybody enough for uh, chipping in and being so nice in the comments and hitting me with the DMs and all your stories about breaking your legs. <laughs> I really appreciate it. It's been, uh, yeah, I definitely didn't expect this amount of feedback. It's been, it's been amazing. Amazing to go through everybody's stuff while I'm uh, just sitting here doing nothing, so. Yeah, thank you very much. And also, thank you very much to Justin and Ryan Dahl for uh, helping me survive 
the, the week after the hospital. Ryan actually gathered all my things up and loaded it up and then brought it back to his brother Justin's house. They both came to visit me in the hospital a bunch and then Justin pretty much like helped me live for the week after the hospital because my knee was so swollen that uh, I couldn't do anything. Like I couldn't even, I couldn't bend it at all. No, we are, we are, uh, we've downsized quite a bit. It's almost normal. Not quite, but we're getting there. I can almost pedal that beautiful steed back there. I'm getting close. And also I've graduated to a, a McCain user now. <laughs> I don't have to drag this thing around with me everywhere. Pretty good. In the Instagram video, I was flexing the walker hard. I've leveled up and it's, it's pretty cool. Thanks to Ryan and Justin. I'm really bad at these explanation videos, but uh, but yeah, I figured I'd give the, the YouTube exclusive heads some, some intel as to why I've disappeared this time. You're used to me disappearing, but this disappearance has an explanation. <laughs> On to the second intro. You guys are very lucky to get graced with another hello. Here we go. Hello. Quiet intro for you. I'm, I'm self-conscious. How's it going, everybody? We're back outside. I'm freaking so excited to ride outside without my hands feeling like they're literally gonna fall off. Freaking beautiful change of pace. I'm down all the way in Raleigh, North Carolina. I've been waiting on the van to be fixed, so I was a little stuck up in the winter, but, but we're here. As you can see, the work light is down there. We're ready for some bowl action. Sorry if I'm squinting the whole time I'm recording this, because uh, it's been a dark few months. <laughs> I haven't seen the sun. Yeah, I'm excited. The sweatshirt's about to come off. Just gonna start running some tricks, because I'm, I'm just happy to be here. I'll give you a grand tour right after I try this clip. I learned it back at Woodward. It's an old one. This one's for Adult Swim. <laughs> I had to grab her and bring it around, but I guess that counts. I learned that one such a long time ago, and I just... It's one of those ones that I just stopped doing. But it feels cool. There was a hop in it, though, so I don't know if I can really own it too hard. Let's see if we could take a dip in this bowl here. I have been here before, so I kind of know my way around, but this one is a little bit, I mean, I guess as every bowl is, it has its quirks, but it's got some very, very tight transition on some spots. And then like over here with those two squiggly, like graffiti, I don't quite know what it says, but the two black ones, it's like super mellow. So it's actually really fun to air, but this side is like three feet of vert. <laughs> it's, it's a rush. <laughs> And this top bit has really good transition, but I can't really open my eyes up there. Go in the direction that I like, which is that. Woo. <laughs> Just gotta drill that spot right there into my head. As long as I remember, it's a good quarter. First try easy. A little weird, but I think that was cool. I was blind. Again, doing that with my eyes closed, but I felt like something. I don't know. Alrighty, we're moving along from the adult swim bowl. I'm gonna go out into the freaking blinding other side. I don't know if you can tell what's going on over there. I really, really can't see right now, but I'm gonna float around a little bit. I had my, I had my, my fun here. Yeah. Here we go. Can can is definitely weak, but I'll take it. I'll take that. I landed good on the spine. It's all I was really concerned with. All right, I waited for the sun a little bit. Try to get a line going in here. This first jump is looking a little freaky, but I think it's gonna work. 
This skater's freaking crazy. Sorry, I'm, ta I'm talking to myself. <laughs> but yeah, that one. <laughs> No. So sketch. Oh shit. Oh. Dang it. If that's not a flat, I'm freaking lucky as hell. I got a trick request. This dude just at the end of his last run hit this so casual. Oh! <laughs> I believe. He's got the camera pressure now, but I swear it was the most like casual hands in pockets. Sick thing ever. Oh! Chilling. <laughs> you might be able to tell I may have uh, made a slight mistake waiting for the sun to go away because. That means it gets dark really quick. <laughs> but you know, for some reason in the next clip it's gonna be sunny again. I don't I don't really know why, but it's just that's just how it happens, I guess.